Here we go. Ooh, got it. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out here at this little park that we've been to a couple times now, and we are gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. I wanna say we've been here about a handful of times already, and every single time we come here, you guys, we fill our cart just about to the top. And I've even found a couple guns here. So this spot is pretty juicy, guys, and there is just no telling what we could find. So today we are back out here once again, guys. We're gonna give it another shot, fingers crossed. Hopefully we can find some more cool stuff. We're gonna get right down to it, guys. We're gonna head out on this dock. We're gonna start tossing our magnets and we're gonna see if we can find anything here today. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or you wanna pick up a magnet, the links will be down in the description, guys. Check it out, guys. The last time we were here, this was not here. Docks closed, no swimming, no loitering, and no littering. And then down in the corner here in fine print, it says docks are for boats and fishing only. Well, good thing we're fishing only, let's go. All right, guys, today we are back out here once again. We got our 360 degree magnet with us today. Let's get right down to it. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we find some pretty cool stuff today. Oh my goodness, you guys, literally first throw of the day. Check it out. We already got us a spark plug. Heck yeah, dude. You know it's going to be a good day when you find something on the first throw. Heck yeah, you guys. First throw, first find of the day. We got us the old spark plug. Oh, look at that. What the heck is this, you guys? Other than that, I don't really know. I don't know what that is. Just the old scrap metal stick piece. But check this thing out, you guys. What is that? That's definitely some kind of handle right here. What the heck do you think that is? Maybe, I mean, it's definitely busted up now, but maybe it used to be some kind of bottle opener or something. That's kind of what that looks like. All right, you guys, find number two of the day here. Kind of looks like we got us the old bottle opener. Definitely ain't opening no bottles with that sucker no more. What is on here? Whoa, you guys, check this out. We got a couple things. First things first here. Um, What is this? Did that like explode or something? What is this like oozing out of there? I don't know, man, but it's, it's kind of squishy. I can like rip it. Yeah, I'm about to rip it apart here. Um, What the heck is going on here, dude? Is that a piece of rubber or foam? What is this, man? Oh yeah, look at that. I'm taking the insides out. We're dissecting this thing. What the heck is this, man? I've never seen nothing like that before. What the heck you guys think that one is? That's kind of weird looking. Got a couple prongs on the front here. What in the world is that? Is this maybe some electrical something and this is like the insulation piece? I have no idea. But we got a couple other things on here. Check this one out. That's definitely like some kind of gear. Or yeah, I mean, for sure, you can see the teeth on there. I wonder what the heck did that one come off of? That's pretty cool looking. And we got us one of these hookaroo looking things here. What the heck do you think of that one? I'm guessing this part, yeah, definitely looks broke off there, but I'm sure this side was probably the same as this. The old ring here, maybe you could put a pin through there. Some kind of something. All right, you guys, check that out. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Some super cool looking stuff too. All right, you guys. Thank you. 
Oh, what is that? Dude, whoa, look at that, man. Is that a, that's a super old bottle. It's gotta be, look at that. It's got like a metal ring on there. Oh, I'm like pulling pieces off it. Dude, this glass has gotta be so old. Holy cow, could you imagine? This would be so cool if it was like the whole bottle was intact. That'd be like antique. How old do you think that is? Oh my goodness. That one is a super cool find. That's crazy, I caught it just because of this little, this little metal clip on there. Holy smokes. Ooh, what the heck is that? I think I just sucked something with some weight out of the mud there. Heck yeah, here we go. What is this bad boy? We sucked that sucker right up out of the mud. What the heck is this? Um, it kind of looks like one of them, one of them window weights that we found a couple of here, but this only looks like half of one. That's kind of funky. And what is that? A piece of glass stuck in there probably. Well, check that one out guys. I don't know what the heck to think of that one. It sure does look like some kind of window weight, but it's only half of it. Huh, a little bit of cash money for the cart. Ooh, there's a bobber floating. See if I can get that. Oh, Ooh, I just grabbed it too. <laughs> no way. Check it out, you guys. I just grabbed this bobber that was floating down the river. The old riding bobs. Heck yeah, we'll take her. This one's got some weight. We definitely got something here. Oh yeah, here we go. What the heck do we got here, you guys? Hold on. Oh my gosh. Check this one out. What the heck do you think of that? It almost looks like it's got some kind of like, maybe a pulley or something in there. Huh, like a rope or some kind of something would run through there. It definitely looks like there's some kind of pulley something going on here. Some more cash metal for the cart. Look at that on there, you guys. Check that out. Holy cow. That's like the first silverware piece that I think I've ever found that was not shiny. Cause I'm pretty sure most of them are stainless steel so they shouldn't rust. That must mean this thing's gotta be pretty old. Holy smokes, you guys. And there's a little something else on there too. Check this out. What the heck is that? One of them, ooh, ooh, one of them little clip pieces, whatever the heck you call that. All right, we got the old two for one on that one. That fork has gotta be old, you guys. What the heck? What in the world is this, you guys? I had to try and wipe off my camera there. But what the heck is this? <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in my whole entire life. Dude, what in the world? It's like a something, I don't even know. Super weird. What is that? That's definitely something right here. Oh yeah, a couple things hanging off of here. Whoa, dude, is that a lock? 
Whoa, man, look at this lock. And what is that? Some kind of dial for the lock? Dude, I've never seen anything like that as far as locks go. Hold on, look at, look at this. See this? There's literally like a string tied to this lock. What the heck is going on here? That's kind of weird looking, you guys. Look at that. That one's pretty cool, you guys, but this little string tied on there, that's throwing me off. What the heck is that for? Somebody definitely had to tie that on there by hand. And what else did we have on there? A couple other things. Ooh, look at this one. Looks like we got us the old boat Rooney. And this thing here. What the heck is this one? This one looks pretty cool. It's got like some springs in there. Can you... No, probably not so super rusted out, but what the heck is that one, you guys? That's super weird looking. What in the world did that come off of? Under the dock. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's got to be some goodies under there. Oh, yeah. What did I say? Yeah, I think I'm already pulling on something. Yep. I am, too. What do we got here? The old under the dock shot. What do we got on there? Holy cow, you guys, tons of scrap wires. I expect these almost every single throw, but, and then something fell off, yup. What is that? Oh my gosh. Dude, if that's a, if that's a D-sized battery, that thing is about 400 years old. This is probably the first D battery ever invented. Oh my gosh. And there's a little something on here. This kind of looks like a tin, box or ouch or something here oh you guys yup it's a zippo oh my gosh that thing is old look at it. it's just crumbling in my hands holy cow i know zippos all zippos have a lifetime warranty so if you send it in they should send you a brand new one but dude look at this thing i don't even know if they would take that that's like Oh my gosh, that thing's old. We got us a super old Zippo. Heck yeah, dude. Huh? Yeah, feels like it. I was definitely on something. I just see a little bit of strain in the Uh. I'm always skeptical when I find something like that. I've, I've lost so many magnets. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it is too. Come here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here it comes. Holy smokes. What is this? Wow, that is definitely the heaviest thing I've had on yet at this spot. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, we're stuck. Oh my gosh, I'm right up under the dock, aren't I? Got it? Nice. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh my gosh look at that thing holy cow what in the world do you think that is what in the world you guys check this thing out that we just found whatever this is i'm serious this thing's got to be well it's i mean it's got to be at least 50 pounds and if you look at this little thing right here there's the same thing here as on the other end so i don't know what the heck this might be but boy this thing is heavy What the heck is this? Dude, no, uh, you guys, look at this. That's like a, that's like a tiny, a super tiny hammerhead. That's gotta be like a, like a toy hammerhead. Holy cow, check that one out. Oh, 
What is this? Oh, check that out, you guys. This is one of these, uh, one of these little J hook pieces that we always find next to railroads and stuff. Oh my gosh, hold on. Yeah, check it out, you guys. We have found tons of these before, but uh, usually when we find them, it's right next to a railroad. And look at this one. Does this literally have fishing line tied? Yeah, look at, it's like tied on there. What would you use that for? Like a sinker? That's weird, holy cow. Somebody definitely tied some fishing line on there. That is weird. Huh, the old J-hook fishing sinker. Here we go. Ooh, oh, what is that? Hold on. What the heck is this, you guys? Oh, check that out. Dude, what the heck? I got me the old handlebars off of a bike. Oh my gosh, look at how breaking the brake handles right off of there. Look at this. This thing has been down there forever. Holy cow, the whole bike is missing. We literally caught us just the handlebars. <laughs> And we got us some little plastic out of the water. We know the fish don't like that. Oh, I just grabbed something right here. Yeah, that one was like way under the dock. That sucker's heavy though. What is this? Whoa. Check that one out. Dude, no, uh It's another one of them little, uh, them little seawall pieces, you guys. Check it out, yep. This one is the same as them other ones, too. It's got a hole in the middle, and, uh, yeah, you can definitely connect them. Check that one out. We got the old cash money seawall. Oh, just stuck something again, dude, I'm telling you. Underneath this dock, holy cow. Oh yeah, this one's heavy too. What do I got here, guys? Whoa, that's kind of cool looking, dude. Look at this. Whoa, it's got like some teeth on there. Check that out. What the heck do you guys think that one is? That thing's gotta be super old. Look at, I think these, what I think are teeth are actually wooden. That's super cool. This piece is old. It almost looks like the hub for maybe what's what's like a wagon wheel because if you guys remember a couple videos ago here we actually caught like part of what looked like some kind of buggy wheel heck yeah you guys check that one out oh i think that actually worked i think i grabbed something Oh, a couple somethings on here. What do we got here, you guys? Oh, bingo, dude. Check it out. We got another horseshoe here. This one's one of the, the pointy tipped ones, you guys. I found like five of these here already. Holy good luck. We got us another horseshoe, guys. We got, looks like tons of scrap on there, of course. But look at this little piece here. What do you think that one is? You can tell it definitely looks like some kind of maybe a knob or something these things coming out of here are so old man Ooh, there's something again dude it works this little under the dock technique whoa whoa dude oh there's a couple things going on here again before we look at the big thing first of all a little piece of glass pinched in there what is this here what the heck do you think of that i don't know that's kind of cool looking but check this thing out you guys this looks super cool this looks like just a regular bracket type piece but look at this big old knocker on there holy cow that's like one of them one of them big old Castle door knockers. I think it worked again. I grabbed something again. 
Oh, here we go. What do we got this time? Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of something coming up with it, dude. No way, you guys. I literally just caught me another horseshoe. Look at that one, dude. That thing just looks old. Oh my gosh, it's like crumbling in my hand. And then what the heck is this on here? Just a big old bag? Some more plastic coming out of the river. <laughs> Dude, nah, oh man, really? A third horseshoe? Holy smokes, dude. I just found these three horseshoes just about back to back, man. Holy cow, check that out. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is going to wrap our video up here for today. Yet again, another super successful day at the old park dock. You can definitely tell it's starting to get a little bit thinner out there, but we are still continuously finding crazy stuff. So I guarantee we will be back here in the future, but that is going to wrap it up for today. So I'm going to go ahead, pack everything up, and I'm going to get out of here for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.